My favourite thing at the moment about This Is The Police is the fact that it uses Steam cloud saving, which means that since my computer reinstallation thing that happened a couple of weeks ago, uh, I have the same save file so nothing has been lost, we are just able to crack on. So let's go to work, our car still doesn't want to start for some reason. We haven't taken it to the shops yet to get serviced. Your Sandstrom drank too much, I, th I can't hold it together today. Yes, but come tomorrow. I'd like to point out that I'm recording this on today. Um, just due to not really having bothered with the whole recording thing. I had to set up a couple of things and uh, all of that. And, okay, we've got a message now. Free Bucks first Mafia war in decades has spread across the streets. Major criminal gangs vie v v v for power and the outcome of the struggle is impossible to predict. One thing is certain, a couple of weeks from now, only one family will rule this city. So our objective is to keep... No, we completed that, that's lovely. So they're happy with me. The old officer, as you know, obviously died. Terribly unfortunate, she was old. Wasn't really too bothered about her loss. We have an attempt at murder in a residential area when a passerby rang the police when he saw a naked man running through the street. That would usually do it for me. <clears throat> Pursued by a woman carrying a large kitchen knife, the one was shouting, I'll got you, you fucking faggot. I suspect this might be a domestic disturbance. Let's get Birch, Austin and Grant. And look at the jump out there between those two. Those are my, well, not the two lowest officers. We have Kojo right here, Kojak. We've got nothing out here to do yet. So we're back to where we were. I'm a little bit rusty on this game because I'm trying to play this whole save file for the video. And we have a The Sands Need Help. Varga stirred up some punks and they went and attacked one of the family right in the barbershop. We've already sent our own men, but we don't know how many scumbags we're up against. You can come join the party, but don't get in our way. Let's get those two on it. I could have used Birch for this. Oh, well. It might free up a slot. Do we actually have any free slots? We do not, although we could technically fight. No, they're both old. They're old and feeble. And they're, they're all pretty much useless, so there's nothing to come for. What about investigations? What do we have going on? Gangs, no gangs, nothing going on investigation-wise. So we're pretty much free to go about now. So we've got attempt at murder. Hopefully nobody died. Nobody died, I think. Yes, nobody died. So everyone got a little bit of boost. We were all happy. Birch is actually triple digits. Hit and run, investigation. An unknown vehicle struck librarian. Kilmek Kalinowski at a pedestrian crossing and drove off. The victim was found dead on the scene. So this is quite a serious hit and run. We, I don't know if there will be any bonuses for having that officer on lead, but we will put the senior officer as our senior detective as lead investigator. We can always pick them off out here. We can always open these up out here. Okay, you haven't actually started the investigation yet, so it doesn't show up there. But you can reassign detectives on cases as things develop. So if, for example, this investigation out here... Oh, Sans need help again. My nephew locked his window and saw some of Argus men smashing. Looks like someone need to go remind him that back. Why wouldn't you just call us for a normal call of service? Let's get Birch out there. We can expend him. City Hall, nothing there. Investigation has started. So we have uh, all of this. We'll wait with that. So we have this start out here. Obviously him walking and then him not walking and him not really well he exists on the physical level it's getting very philosophical right now but on the spiritual level he's very much left us presumably through the windscreen of a car but that's for the police detectives out there to find out so mr birch has gone over massacre okay a girl entered eddie's burgers ordered a diet coke brand name and started shooting at the other customers with a handgun the cashier called the police and in the background there were gunshots and screams. Meanwhile, crazed young gunman or young woman is shouting, I hate fat people. Do you know? It's just everyone goes, ooh, ooh. Let's get coachy on it. We might get everyone out there just in case. That will probably need back if it really is a big old massacre going on. 
is returning home. I don't think they can actually die on those calls uh, because they don't give you the uh, after action report. So I think that's just whatever. Massacre. No officers injured, officers unharmed, civilians unharmed. Well, apart from the people that were massacred, obviously, but we'll ignore that. It's not on our book. We weren't caught when they were massacred, so it's not our responsibility. So I'm not going to care about that. In my mind, I don't know how the media views it, but that's not really my problem. I mean, my heart last half year, so sod it, really. We now have an armed robbery at the city centre. An, armed, an alarm came in from an armoured truck. Armed men have blocked the street, shot out the armoured truck's toys, and are trying to seize the bags of money. I have played this one before, and quite a few of my policemen died dealing with that incident. So I will hopefully not have that occur now, including Stovell. Let's get Kochi out there. Kochi hasn't seen some action recently, but they will hit the siren and go there forthwith. That's police lingo from New York. So they are just about arriving out here, and we will see if they will need assistance immediately. Armed robbery city centre. The narrow street is blocked by two vans near the armoured truck. Three armed masked men have surrounded the truck, and one of them is carrying a blowtorch. Cheeky bastard. On the roof of one van is a fourth criminal who shouts something to his accomplices as he sees the officers approach. We can either shout, you are surrounded, surrender peacefully. Somehow I really doubt they'll do that, but okay, the blowtorch won't work, you'll need to use dynamite. At which case someone will probably go, oh yeah, I've got some in my back pocket out here, try and use that. Shoot the robber who's standing on the roof of the van. Okay. I played this before, as I said, and quite a few officers died. I think we went with the top one. We can either shoot the robber who's standing on the roof of the van. I don't know if we have, you know, remit of that. So, the blowtorch won't work. You'll need to use dynamite. I think that'll just piss them off. We could initiate contact out here. They are armed out here. And they're not showing any signs of surrendering. But still, it kind of seems excessive. I'm not tempted to do that because we'll probably die a bit. So maybe we'll be cheeky or we'll just shoot the robber who's standing on the roof of the van. By the way, when I played this, these officers were the one, the normal ones were the ones who died, not the SWAT team. I'd imagine if you had a call like this, you'd send in SWAT first if you dispatch them all at the same time. But I'll leave that for now. We will instead... Oh, what do we want to do? I really don't know, actually. Uh, whew, not that one, so it's either one of those two, and I'm not really feeling like doing either one. Shoot the one on the roof. The criminals take out their automatic weapons and open fire. Retreat, go on the offensive, or hide behind a patrol car and fire from cover. Now, they have automatic weapons. What's depicted there is some sort of an, a rifle, a carbine or a full-on assault rifle, so, hiding behind a patrol car is not going to do much. Unless it's one of those Crown Victorias that actually have Kevlar plating in their doors. Even then, I mean, those Kevlar plates have a life expectancy of like 30 seconds with that kind of firepower going at them. Or we can go on the offensive and take them out, which is, you know, gung-ho style. But we've got the SWAT team there. So, I'm feeling like being a badass motherfucker right now and I'm going to go on the offensive. Oh my god! Stuck my dick. I'm amazing. We now have a fight at a dump. A, a night watchman, during his rounds, followed some noises to discover several homeless people fighting over a bundle that was lying on the ground. Is it their old lovers? We will leave that until that timer expires, because these officers might return home in time, and we can send even more coppers out to the scene. I was right because they're actually home now. Click here, we will dispatch uh, Stovall, we'll get Samadi, uh, Kojo and Birch. We'll roll them hot to the scene, we'll keep everyone else available for calls. It is only 2200, actually 2300 hours, so we might need that, just honestly. You may get more calls. Is it at 2am this ends? I don't remember, it's been a while since I last played. We've got three new frames for our investigation. Let's open up and have a look. We need one, two, three, we need four. So let's leave that for now. We won't finish the investigation. We'll keep some of the, we'll need to keep Marlow. 
OK, that was more serious than we thought. Requesting reinforcements forthwith. Dispatch those. So, let's have a look at the investigation out here. Who do we have assigned detectives? We have Marlowe. He will have to stay in. As will Beasley. I won't keep Moser on, but our mole is normally assigned to B-shift, which isn't working today. And we have Sandstrom, which is at home, getting rid of her, you know, alcohol. So she will be on the case again tomorrow. That will be good. And they are nearly on scene of the call. Okay, that going away is an indication that we have finished today. We only need to wrap up the call. It also goes right on the fight in progress. No policemen were injured in this call. Everyone gets a boost and we are very happy. So Jack Varker is strong but he can't compete on equal terms with the oldest criminal gang in Freeburg. Just make sure that Sand stays ahead on point and we'll have nothing to worry about. So we basically have to back up Sand whenever we can. Hopefully we won't die due to Vargas. So we have to order Marlow to work tomorrow as with Beasley. I'll keep Mo so just to give him a full rest. Uh, do we need any patrolmen to stay in? Let's get Birch. He's fairly well rested. And get Vandal. Furthermore, no, they, they all seem fine. We've got three senior officers. What do we have on B shift? Oh, we have that one. We've got Birch Jr. who's a bit dead. We've got quite a few. Christ, okay. We need to do some schedule shuffling here because A shift is looking rather overstaffed, if you ask me. But, I mean, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven investigators in B shift. And one, two, three, four on that. Yeah, that's a bit uneven. We'll get to that later here on day 14. City crime rate increased by 31. Get the car fired up. Like, surely someone out of the uh, shop would be able to pick the police car up. I was up. No, you cannot go home. I can hardly... I'm too tired, hardly walk straight. Yes, you can go home. That's fine. You're genuinely tired. We have a lot of investigators on today. That's good. Let's do a... Go to the map. Let's not have music. Let's go to the map immediately. Open up our police station. Personnel, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Oh, okay, they're evenly matched, but because I asked them to stay in, they duplicated. It's the same with the officers. We are actually one man down on B shift. Okay, I got a bit confused on that screen. But let's have a look here. The business center. Our, our people were scouting ahead of Mr. Sand's movement and we spotted a punk carrying a gun. There sure to be a few of more bastards lurking around nearby. Let's get together and turn the tables on his line ball crew. I don't really have, and this is a massive luxury problem, anyone who is actually low enough to be considered somewhat expendable. So furthermore we have this, that's fine. We need to look at the investigations out here and we need to try and... At the very least, trying to sign maybe one or two more. Sandstrom, you're no longer intoxicated. And Turner will keep De Brito and Armstrong for any new investigations that might occur, because they might. We now have another call the destruction of property at the co institution to. Th yeah, co institution. I was going for constitution, but it's got an I in it, and that's wrong for constitution. Well, it's not wrong, there's obviously a nine constitution, but not right there in constitution. That's Coinstitution 2000 Arcade. The attendant at the arcade called in a complaint about two teenagers who broke the steering wheel off the turbo nitro machine and are currently fleeing the scene. Van Dahl and Asano are two finest police officers. We'll go and deal with that. Obviously, these are, you know, they're assigned to that quarter, they are finest. And when there's another call, some new people will be the finest. That's just how it works. What about City Hall? We can't request anything. That's disappointing. The wife of the mayor's se the wife of the mayor's press secretary loves chore singing. Today, her birthday. So send some men with good voices. 
Well, that actually isn't man. No, nope. you get you get those two. That's just because you told me to send men, and I just sent two females. That apparently is a yeah, Linda. That's a female name. Purely out of spite, I send two females. But as soon as they finish Birch out here, hopefully he will be dealt with soon. Offender called, officers unharmed. You probably also noticed that it's quite rare now that suspects get away from us. I think that's just because our levels are as high up as they are. Uh, an eyewitness reports that a man is selling some wep selling weapons on the street right out and right out of the trunk of his car. Someone is getting shot every night around here. You finally need you need to finally do something. Well, Cecil is on the case, as is Robin, Stigor, Birch, and indeed Yancey. Because Asano and Vandal will be back on duty in just a second. And if anything comes up, really too bad. I don't know if Purdy and Tsubaki will be out of service the whole day. They might just be. Or they might just be out of service for a period of time. So they are now requesting backup out there. Surprising. Dispatch our remaining two officers. They are wailing away to the scene of the incident. Out with their fellow officers involved in presumably a shootout or a large disturbance. What do we have for them? Oh, no, we can't do anything at City Hall. Investigations. Oh dear, we don't got a firefight out the port. So a dock worker sighted several armed men making their way between the cargo containers. Okay, we'll hold off here. I don't know if any police officers will actually return home in time. But we do have the SWAT team. So what do we have here? Fender called officers unharmed. Loot found. Let's just ask them to sell it this time round. Hopefully, if they get back in time, it will be sodding locky, and I'm not entirely sure they will. I went and needs help. That is quite a long time, but that is fine. 13, 10. Okay, we might be just, you know, 8, 7, 6. They're back. So, we let's start filling up out here with all of our low-rate officers. Dispatch all of those. I'll keep those two available now, because we do have other calls waiting. What do we have out here? Ulrich Bieber, City Centre. Mr. Boyd, I feel bad about coming to you again. Sorry, I really can't do that. One of our minor deliveries got intercepted by some fucking punks. The towels, napkins and various cooking utensils that were supposed to be going to the ranch are now scattered across the highway like a circus sideshow. They're having a laugh and making us look like clowns too. We're not too broken up about the towels, but we still need to teach... Listen... We are not really in a situation to where we can actually do that. I'm not even going to assign anything to that. However, I am going to assign a couple of people to a suspicious individual at the Everyday Mall. A former psychotic, psychiatric, not psychotic. That's a bit loaded in that sentence, mate. Let's try again. <clears throat> I'll even clear my throat. <clears throat> former psychiatric patient... Leboko Clark called the police because a maniac was harassing people in the mall. I don't know why I made that voice, I just did. According to Leboko, there's a killer on the loose who will stop at nothing. Probably not true because he's a former psychiatric patient, but it might be, so we'll, you know, we'll stay on the case. We have those three officers, Cecil and Yancey, our two finest policemen, literally. Yeah, I'm sorry, you're just going to have to deal with it yourself. We have a major shootout going on by the port. The police detachment arrived on scene and found three corpses and six criminals armed with automatic weapons surrounding a cargo container. The criminals spotted the police and two of them already rushed to escape. Fire a couple of warning shots into the air, shoot the criminals. Everyone freeze and put your hands on your head. Hmm. They haven't... Let's try that. Remaining criminals are hiding in the shipping containers. Improvise a way of smoking them out. Yes, a thousand times, yes. Much like the whole stripper thing, where we just put some water on them. Just be creative, think outside the box. Let's bring the cocaine to the police station. Probably the smartest move right now. Yep, sorry, I mean, I just can't help you out with that one. We don't have anyone available and we have to deal with that. The man was a... yep. Fine, yeah, whatever. It was just a false call, someone in the costume... That worked out the mall. Mm. 
Terribly sorry about that, but I just got this thing. We've got three new frames. So let's have a look at the investigation here. So Mr. Paul, uh, a witness, has said that this dark coloured car, they're all sort of a dark, a uh, coloured car comes staring around the corner, hopped the curb and kept on going, knocked the man over, didn't I even slow down. Mr. Alvarez, uh, not, been long, not, not long before the crash, I kicked a couple of drunks out of the bar, then we're having a fight with some of my regulars. Mr. Kalinowski, okay, Anna Kalinowski, I'm not going to try voice for her, that's just wrong, and it'll be nationist, or whatever you call that. A few days ago, Dad had a fight at work with a couple of young people who were causing a ruckus at... A ruckus? Oh, that's a wonderful word. A ruckus at the library. The whole thing almost came to blows. They threatened him before they left. Mr Hopkins, Eugene Hopkins. I saw two people in the queue. They were right by me. The man in the passenger seat had a beard. OK. Ronaldo Boone, a colleague... Kilmick thought that he was being followed. He said he saw the guy everywhere. Said it looked like someone had a problem with him at the library. So, car. We do not have enough frames. Tink, tink. Oh, that's a wrong one. No, we don't have enough frames actually yet to complete this because they're all wrong. Despite the sheer number of investigators we have on the case, nothing actually works. And that's a wrap for the day. Day 14, we are even Stevens on the gang activity. And we have now to make a decision. Birch has worked pretty hard. Uh, Turner, Anthony Turner can stay in. Uh, as can Lance Armstrong. Uh, Sandstrom will have to rest out here. They will be in work again anyway. They'll get some time off soon. We can... Oh, let's try and be a bit clever here, because we can order D-Girl to work, order Purdy as well, and we'll just have to make do. We have to kind of just take a, a chill pill right now. Uh, day 15, Mayor Bruce's commitment to nepotism. Yes, he's a politician. That's obviously what politicians do. And I don't think we've been shot today because we got to the car. We might be shot later. We can now assign a single stripe onto someone who we believe actually deserves it. I'm not entirely sure. We don't... Hmm. You see, the thing is that we have some quiet... Yeah, let's give... No, let's not. Let's give... So that we'll leave it for B-shift. We've got Sandstrom, who's an raging alcoholic. Go to the map. Thank you. We can now request stuff from the higher female cops. Oh, I'm very much about that base. About that base. Does all of them, because we can labour market. We've got Lisa Simpson, Elizabeth Racer. Nyla, she's Benny. I mean, they're, they're too old and feeble. I mean, they'll just die. Considering the reason... Considering certain recent events, we obliged to have grant some concessions to the feminists. You have to make sure that at least half of the staff are the police uh, women. Uh, yeah, I don't care about the suicide for it. I have to count. One. How many are we in total? Labour market. We are 18 plus 8. That's 24. Right? No, it's 26. Ha <laughs> ha, you tried to trick me, game, but I can do numbers, me. Let's do 26, that's, that's 13, 1, 2, 3, that's apparently a woman, 3, 4, hang on, no, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, is Kojo info, that doesn't tell me anything, oh shit, what was the number, 1, no, oh, fuck off, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, Eight, nine, ten. That's not enough. I need more. I need more women. Let's try. Did I miss Middleton? Let's try. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 
I have 11 women. I need 13. Oh, hang on, because that might still be counted. That might help even it all out a bit. Hmm. Let's give that a couple of days and see. Crimes and progress. Azusa. Oh, yes. That was a call I let waiting while I did some maths. A taxi driver heard someone screaming and noticed a few people gathering on the bridge as he was driving past towards the port. He stopped to see if anyone needed help. Probably does. But as he approached, he saw that a man was threatening to throw himself and two children into the icy water below. Jason left us. I lost my job in the house and there's no way we'll survive. It's better if everything just ends now. To the taxi driver, it looked like suicide. Now, the taxi driver is not a member of my detective squad, but I think he might be onto something here. Let's dispatch Stovall, um, Samadhi, Austin, and uh, Birch. I'll keep Birch and get Kojo. So, they are responding to the apparent suicide issue. We have no new frames, we have breaking and entering. An elderly man speaking in a raspy whisper just reported a break-in. There's someone in my house, they're pounding on the door and marching all around downstairs. Hurry. Let's hold the swap for now. Surely normal beat police officers should be able to deal with that. Let's get Diego and let's actually get Grant as well. We have two senior officers. Moreover, we need to boost Grant a bit. She is a senior officer. But she's getting upstaged by, or getting closed in by, several other officers. I mean, it does seem to get a lot easier later on, because your officers just get... If, if you keep the right officers on and you don't fire anyone, they just gain experience. Anyway, the suicide threat on the bridge. Two tearful boys, clearly in a state of shock, not surprised, uh, are standing dangerously close to the edge of the bridge. Behind them, their drunk and distraught father is slowly pushing the children closer to the that word, there, that one, that thing. Presumably they mean the edge, not the wrestler, the edge of the bridge. Don't be upset, my friend, tell me about your husband. Let's not try and go the buddy-buddy way, that probably won't work. Don't worry that everything is going to be fine. Fuck no, they're standing on a fucking bridge. Don't be upset, my friend, tell me about your... Everything's going to be fine. A strong gust of wind almost blows one of the children off the bridge. Oh, fuck me. But he recovered at the last moment and stumbled to the ground with a scuffed knee. Well, whoop de doo de doo You've got a scuffed knee whilst trying to kill yourself on a bridge. Stay back and not to agitate the man rushed to the aid of the children. Quit fooling around. These children have already suffered enough. I like the last one. Because that one actually appeals to the man and his kids and trying to go, yeah, your kids are still here, you know, you kind of want to think about those. The man slurs his words, saying that there's no point in delaying the inevitable, point a gun at the man and order him to step away from the edge. So I'm either pointing a gun at him, telling him, yeah, I'm going to fucking shoot, you cunt, or I'm, he can jump into the water. I really don't know what I'd like, want more. Walk towards a police, point gun at me, or jump off a bridge. Probably jump off a bridge because I wouldn't be shot. Your children have their whole lives in front of them. You just can't make this decision for them. Think about what you're doing as people who care about you. Again, we kind of want to try and appeal to his uh, parental uh, mentality, uh, to the fact that he doesn't want to hurt his kids. Uh, basically, ignore him because, you know, he's a grown-ass person. He still has his kids who he probably cares quite a bit about. He probably, when you're trying to kill yourself, I'd imagine, not really that big a fan of yourself. Just, you know, just general life commentary right there, but so I'm going to go for the children approach. Ooh, yes! I saved the kiddies and I didn't shoot a man. That's American policing for you right there. Oh, we've got a disorderly conduct at the business centre. Uh, Secretary Abigail Jones, oh, she sounds hot, told the police that her boss Martin Quebec returned from a meeting in quite a state. Well, one hell of a meeting then. When he entered, he took a bang of white powder from his safe and shut the door. Now he's yelling incessantly and making a zine, demanding that his secretary deliver him the head of a unicorn. What a meeting! I want to go to those kind of meetings. Or he'll cut her throat with a letter opener and then go off the... Hang on, letter openers are not sharp, are they? I've got one somewhere. I think it's in a drawer. 
It's made out of some sort of bone. It's, it's black, probably not bone, but something like it out there. It's not sharp. If someone came to cut up my throat with that, I'd just laugh at them because it wouldn't be able to pierce my skin. Uh, but we'll assign a couple of policemen. Whatever, he's just, you know, on cocaine or amphetamines or... Whatever you young people do these days. Breaking and entering report, there was no one except dogs in the house. They were scratching the door because they wanted to go outside. I'm not a dog person. I've never had a dog. I hopefully won't ever have a dog. I don't understand them. So I don't know if they do that. Okay, so offender caught, officers unharmed, and civilians unharmed. We found some cocaine. Let's bring that to the station. Again, we don't want to do too much suspicion. And uh, now, however, the sounds need some help. What do they need? A member of the family was at a restaurant having a dinner with his secret lover. But, but because the affair was a secret, he was light on protection and one of Vargas' agents was able to slip a grenade into the room. Yeah, let's just, you know, police do that unofficially deal with grenades. Fuck yeah, we do. It's what we live to do, right? Wrong. But fine, whatever. For the purpose of the story, we'll take it. And, I don't know, just throw it between you until you get to the water and just lob it in there. I mean, what do you do in that case if you can't call EOD? They're probably trying now to figure out what the hell they're going to do with, you know, the grenade. But they're already coming back. Please tell me you left the grenade at the scene or lobbed it into the sea or something. Hostage situation with a fatal casualty. You don't need to put the casualty at the end. Fatal probably does it well. A man wearing a suit walked into a to the lobby of the bank, just the bank. No, the bank of Freeburg says up there, stupid idiot. I locked the doors and proceeded to kill several customers. Probably need to put a casualty instead of casualty, but I'll find. He never said a word. He just starts at firing at people. I don't know. One eyewitness. That are witnesses from Yorkshire. Reported a dozen people remain inside the building and the criminals' demands are as yet unknown. SWAT will get Kochi, Purdy, Bailey, Samadhi and Grant. And they will go yelping to the scene of the fatal hostage situation. So they have arrived on the hostage situation. They are requesting... Additional units to attend Birch, Kojo, Austin, Vinegar, and Vandal. Go, go, go. Blues and twos, Ninas and Weeroos. And the Sands need help. A sweet girl named Anna is one of our key assets in a large accounting firm. She just got home from work and found her house was on fire. And the asso that started are still standing around and admiring the handiwork. Wouldn't it be a pretty if someone... Hang on. Where I'm from... The police will respond along with fires, or, or, you know, house fires, structure fires, because, I mean, you know, it's a structure that's on fire. There's a threat of life. There certainly is uh, substantial uh, property damage, in which case the police need to investigate. So why the fuck am I even being asked this? This is bullshit. I'll leave it. Maybe they'll finish with the whole fatal hostage situation in time. Otherwise... Sorry, I only have one available officer. I just can do shit, really. They have arrived on scene. Okay, that was quite tense. Civilians unharmed. Everyone is happy. Everyone gains experience. It's a party bus on the way home. They might actually get back, so we can actually send out Kojo and Birch to deal with the little Bernie fire thing. Yep, Kojo and Birch go to the Bernie fire thing. I don't know if they can die. I said that earlier that I probably can't die. But I don't know. Genuinely, I don't know. It just seems like they can't because message pop-up thing. Oh, more information. I have got two new frames. Open the investigation. So car here. Car here. Car here. Car here. No. No. Jesus Christ, how crap are these investigators? These are some of my best men that's working this case. Let's try and use a red one then. Go. Yeah, they're getting into the car. Jink. Jink. No. 
Well, they're useless. Why would I hire these people? They've done nothing but fuck up this case so far. So you, you're coming. Maybe you, maybe you. Then blood, no. Okay, let's swap those around. What about those? No, probably wouldn't have the blood on then. Uh, so let's pull all those black ones down. It's a dark car after all. Close and leave them on the case. And they are arriving out here by the sand issue right about now. So the end of the day and we are even Stevens with the gangs. We need to stay above our support out here. What about A shift? That's the one we had today. Let's get Kojo with his mojo. Uh, Austin, Miss Austin. And uh, bump, be dump, be dump, bump, bump. Yeah, that'll be it for now, I reckon. Just end the day and we will celebrate tomorrow. Whee!